Hey everybody, it is Nathan and Dad Seelove. That's that's not Professor Raymond to you. Professor Raymond. <laughs> Apparently in the last You Might Be Autistic If video, um, y'all liked this guy, so I decided to bring him back. And let me just take over here for a moment because I want to start this off by saying congratulations, Professor Seelove. <laughs> yeah, I, I I just got hired as an adjunct. All all thank you. I just got hired as an adjunct, so uh, excited about that. Thank you, Dad. Um, so let's celebrate by reading some You Might Be Autistic Gifts. All right. Uh, if you are new to this series, these are all audience submitted You Might Be Autistic If statements. Quick disclaimer, this is You Might Be Autistic If. So if you do have some of these symptoms, that doesn't automatically mean that you are autistic. And if you don't have them, then that doesn't automatically mean that you aren't autistic. This is all about having fun. We're not trying to like demonize anybody or be maliciously attacking anybody. We're just here to laugh at ourselves. So you ready? And to explore some of the symptoms of autism. Yeah, exactly. All right. Possible symptoms. Possible symptoms. Okay, from Robots Arts, you might be autistic if the beach is not a desired vacation zone. <laughs> You hate beaches. I hate beaches. <laughs> Jess hates beaches, too. And I have to go to beaches because my family loves them. Yeah, that is true. Um, that's that's Jess's issue, too. I actually really like beaches. For me, the, the sensory of the feet really helps. But there are a lot of autistics that don't like the beaches. Sand they, sucks. Uh, sands and crowds. The crowds are the worst. Yeah. The, the worst thing about the beach is all the people at the beach. <laughs> Uh, so there are actually beaches that I love. Yeah, the ones that don't have anybody. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's this beach on Verona Island uh, off the coast of Maine where I go uh, sometimes with a friend of mine. And it's rocky and there's not a soul there. <laughs> and the water is so cold you can't get in it. See, that sucks. Well, that it, part sucks. No, no, it's perfect because nobody in their right mind would go to a beach like this, which means nobody's there. So I'm by myself. It's perfect. I feel like uh, there's some flaws in your logic there. The next one is from Blautistic Life. You might be autistic if you can't handle it when someone says maybe to a question you asked. You know, why can't people just be black and white? Yes? No? <laughs> you know, growing up, that happened a lot when I would ask you questions, and it annoyed the hell out of me. <laughs> but I didn't actually say maybe. What I would say is, I do not have an answer for you right now. And then I would ask you, is it critical that you get the answer right now? If you want the answer right now, I can give it to you, but you won't like it. No, basically, if basically you can... it's maybe but like in a manipulative way. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you're part of the problem. But here. I didn't say maybe. But you're still part of the problem. It's the sentiment behind it. Do you it. think it's because I'm autistic that I couldn't just say maybe and that I had maybe. to do that instead? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from Flying Falcon. You might be autistic if you pace around your apartment every day after work for two months making the sound of an electric stall warning horn. By the way, I love airplanes. <laughs> I know a lot of autistics that really like airplanes. Well, you know, um, there's this weird thing about pilots. A lot of pilots are autistic, but and yet not they, can't to be, they can't say that be they're autistic. autistic. Yeah, there's actually, there's apparently, like, there's rules against autistics being pilots, but there are so many pilots that are autistic. What kind of BS is that? <laughs> this one wasn't really about it was about pacing. It was about pacing, was about pacing yeah. and, making, can... and making the noise. Nathan paces and paces and paces. <laughs> and he doesn't do it quietly. Boom, boom, boom. I have, I the have, whole house I vibrates. I have huge feet and I got them from you. Yeah, but I don't walk that way. Uh, another one from Blautistic Life. You might be autistic if you apologize for everything, including excessively apologizing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is one that I made a video about, so uh, you should check that out. The Autism Actually Speaking about uh, why autistics are always apologizing. That's one of the things that actually annoys me. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you, I mean, you don't apologize that much. I try not to. Yeah. Sometimes you should. <laughs> Sometimes you should. You think so? <laughs> yeah. This one from Ben Hackett. You might be autistic if you have your own uniform, but it is... A self-styled outfit, not work-related. Yeah, well, for years, mine was 
t-shirt shorts. Yeah, and now it's one of these shirts and, and then shorts. Short. I eventually found a few shirts that fit comfortably, and then I wore those same shirts every day for yeah ten years. Yeah. All right. This next one is from uh, Muppet Jedi Sparkle Feet. Awesome name. You might be autistic if your favorite foods are based on texture instead of flavor. You're married to somebody like that. I am married to someone like that. I am very much married to someone like that. Um, hmm. Texture is important to me, but it's not the overwhelming thing that it is for some autistics. For me, it, it, I'm very sensitive about certain tastes, but um, but texture, like, I, there, there are some foods that Jess just cannot eat because it's too much for her. Um, so I... I, I I mean, that's not me, but I, I get that. Okay, so here's another one from Ben Hackett. You might be autistic if new clothes have to be washed at least six times before wearing them so they stop feeling scratchy. Ooh, that's how I feel with sheets. Like, new sheets. Uh, Jess and I recently got new sheets on our bed, and, like, I couldn't stand them for the first few nights. And, like, the, after they've been washed a few times, I'm finally just like, yes, this is what I need. If it doesn't feel good right away, I don't wear it. Yeah. Which makes it incredibly difficult to find <laughs> clothes. Yeah. But, hey, there's an alternative. If you need clothes to be washed many times before they're comfortable Go to a thrift you, store. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This is from Felicity Cooper. Uh, you might be autistic if you often have headphones in without having music playing just to make the noise more bearable. Should I go you, get my headphones and show them? <laughs> you don't need to. But he actually does have noise-canceling headphones that he often just has them on, like not even listening to anything. Just I was at a funeral this past weekend, and I was wearing them in the restaurant. The restaurant yeah. was crazy noisy. Yeah. And... They're designed so that they cancel out the ambient noise, but they actually pay attention to voice and they let the voices through. Yeah. So when I'm wearing them, I actually have a much easier time talking to people. Except that people see me wearing the headphones and they don't talk to me because they think I can't hear them. <laughs> Which is okay too. <laughs> this one is from Aspie with Attitude. You might be autistic if you still wear jeans or sweatpants all the way through summer and still in the same winter clothes into the next winter. I once wore the exact same pair of pants for a month. Really? Yeah. I've actually done that too. I got, <laughs> I got teased on the school bus. Yeah? Yeah. How old yeah. were you? Um, this was middle school. It was the only pair of pants that I was willing to wear, and I don't think my mother noticed, but this <laughs> this bully girl on the bus, she said, that, that boy is nasty. He, he's been wearing that same pair of pants for a week and a half. And I thought, joke's on you. I've been wearing these pants for a month. <laughs> <laughs> Two more here from Blotistic Life. Uh, you might be autistic if you get anxious when your best friend doesn't finish asking a question or telling a story. When I experience this is with Shelly, she'll come in and say that she's going to tell me something. And instead oh, of telling yeah. me it, she starts giving me a bunch of background about how she feels and what sets up and all this. I'm like, just tell me. <laughs> yeah, what, who cares what, about the feelings? What is all this stuff? Just tell me. <laughs> Yeah. No, I, I I do sometimes. Cut to the chase, damn it. See, I, I feel like I'm guilty of this sometimes because yes. I, I have a... Yes, you are. I have a flair for the dramatic. Yes. You know, I enjoy being dramatic. That's one dramatic. way of saying it. <laughs> one of my favorite quotes from Quotation. one of your early <laughs> videos with the blooms was when one of them told you, spit it out, Rain Man. <laughs> That was that was the very first one. That the one, very first movie. That one that one is not on YouTube anymore. We, for, for good reasons. Some good reasons. For some good reasons. Uh. You might be autistic. <laughs> I may or may not leave that in. <laughs> you might be autistic if you want to take a cross country trip, so you spend twenty minutes on the phone with the nice airline representative planning a trip that's still about four months in the future. Is that, is that like, do neurotypicals not do that? There's some kind of formula for when you should book your flight to get the lowest fares, and it has something to do with days of the week and how long out, and there are certain amount of time out, it's too expensive, and then it gets less expensive, and then it gets more expensive, and... From Ohio Irishman, you might be autistic if you correct someone about a topic you really know, like dragons. I really love Skyrim. 
It's my favorite video game. And uh, I often wear a Skyrim t-shirt. But what's interesting is okay. that the dragons in that game are not actually dragons. They're wyverns. Because dragons have four legs and then wings. Wyverns have two legs and then their, uh, their uh, two other limbs are the wings themselves. If your special interest is dragons, you might be autistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alana Trumbly. You might be autistic if you're receiving a hug and you're ignoring your discomfort because you're too busy trying to figure out who this unrecognized person is to you. Most hugs that I um, don't know who the person is come at family reunions because yeah. I've got a huge family and I figure, eh, if somebody at a family reunion comes up and hugs me, it must be family. Yeah. Good enough. Well, well, also at family reunions, most of the people, like, when I go to family reunions nowadays, I haven't seen them since I was a kid. So, like... They're a bit more forgiving when I don't recognize them. All right, that's today's video. Thank you all for watching. If we mispronounced any names or if we did not read your particular You Might Be Autistic If, uh, we apologize. Leave a comment down below. Recomment your You Might Be Autistic If or tell us how to phonetically pronounce your name. Um, and if you are willing and able, you should become a Patreon and support me because, uh, you know, if you like the content, it really helps. Um, so we made a lot of mistakes today. So a lot of stuff was cut out. Yeah. And I think it'd be interesting just to ask some of your um, viewers, do you want to see outtake reels? Yeah. Um, is outtake reels something that we should consider adding to Patreon? Yeah. Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think about that. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll consider that. If you like this video, then give it a like, a share. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my other stuff. And I will see you in the next one. 